Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jayaditya Ghosh, Consultant Endocrinologist, Yashoda Hospital, Malakpit. Is obesity considered a disease? Yes, indeed it is. So obesity has been considered a disease by the WHO as well as the American Medical Association. So it should be adequately taken care of. So what are the factors which leads to the development of obesity? Obesity is multifactorial. That is, it has a genetic preponderance. That is, family history of obesity increases the chances of developing obesity. The other factors like psychogenic factors like depression, stress, also leads to the development of obesity. Whereas lifestyle plays an important role in the development of obesity. So what do you mean by lifestyle? It includes sedentary lifestyle. It includes poor dietary patterns. That is having junk food more, having increased carbohydrate intake and less of exercises. So all these leads to the development of obesity. So only this leads to obesity? No. Hormonal imbalances also has its part to play. Certain hormones such as increased cortisol levels, decrease in thyroid hormones as well as leptin abnormalities leads to the development of obesity. So as I had already told, it is multifactorial. So obesity needs to be taken care adequately because all the factors that I have stated apart from the hormonal problem has been a harbinger of diabetes. So obesity itself is a harbinger of di development of diabetes. So what are the treatment factors which can lead to improvement in obesity? First two are diet and exercises which are core to the management of obesity. The third part includes the medication. So in diet it is similar to diabetic patients that is which should decrease the carbohydrate trinket and we can follow the plate method that I had already mentioned in diabetes patient that is half of the plate should having green leafy vegetables one fourth should have protein intake and one fourth should be carbohydrate the main thing is we should decrease the carbohydrate content and protein can be increased in patients of obesity and regular exercises should be done that is 30 minutes of exercises should be done daily at least five days a week and should also include two to three days of strengthening exercises. Yoga can also be a part of this exercise regime. So coming up, apart from this exercises and dietary modification, what are the medication that have been approved for the treatment of obesity? So there are actually two medications which have been approved by the FDA for the treatment of obesity. One that is semaglutide and the other is tirzepatide. Both these are injectable medication, once weekly injections. The semaglutide injection is popularly known as Ozempic or Vegovi and the tirzepatide injection is known as Monjaro popularly. So both these injections lead to significant weight loss around 10 to 20 percent depending upon the doses and varies from person to person if taken for a duration of around three to six months minimum. But there are certain side effects such as GI side effects are the most common side effect that is nausea, vomiting, loose motions can be seen in patients and therefore these medications should be taken strictly under the guidance of an endocrinologist. So if you are having obesity, you should not neglect it as it can lead to far-fetched complications in the form of diabetes, cardiac problems and multi other problems in the liver as well. So we should adequately treat it and it should be adequately given importance. And if you are finding any of these features of obesity, then you can consult me at Yashala Hospital, Malakpet. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.